Underworld is a novel published in 1997 by Don DeLillo. It was nominated for the National Book Award, was a bestseller, and is one of DeLillo's better-known novels. Underworld continues to receive general acclaim from literary critics. In 2006, a survey of eminent authors and critics conducted by the New York Times found Underworld the runner-up for the best work of American fiction of the past 25 years. It garnered 11 of 125 votes, finishing behind only Toni Morrison's Beloved with 15 votes. Plot Introduction Underworld is a non-linear narrative that has many intertwined themes. A central character is Nick Shea, a waste management executive, who leads an undirected existence in late 20th century America. His wife, Marion, is having an affair with one of his friends. The events of the novel span from the 1950s through the 1990s. The characters in the book respond to several historical events, including the Cuban Missile Crisis and nuclear proliferation. The novel is divided into eight sections, Prologue a Euro The Triumph of Death, Part 1 A Euro Long Tall Sally, Part 2 A Euro Elegy for Left Hand Alone, Part 3 A Euro The Cloud of Unknowing, Part 4 A Euro Cocksucker Blues. Part 5 A Euro Better Things for Better Living Through Chemistry, Part 6 A Euro Arrangement in Grey and Black, Epilogue A Euro Das Kapital, DeLillo said that the novel's title came to him as he thought about radioactive waste buried deep underground and about Pluto, God of Death. The waste and byproducts of history, dissected and discussed throughout the novel, constantly resurface from the underworld of the American population despite their best attempts to repress and bury things they would rather forget. Further connections and connotations about the title can be made between part of the novel's subject matter, and the 1927 gangster film of the same name. Plot Summary The novel opens on October 3, 1951, when a boy named Cotton Martin sneaks in to watch the New York Giants play the Brooklyn Dodgers at the Giants' home field polo grounds. In the ninth inning, Ralph Branca pitches to Bobby Thompson, who hits the ball into the stands for a three-run homer, beating the Dodgers 5-4 and capturing the National League pennant. Known to baseball fans as the shot heard round the world, the fate of that ball is unknown, but in DeLillo's novel, Cotton Martin wrests this valuable ball away from another fan who has just befriended him, and runs home. Cotton's father, Manx, steals the ball and later sells it for $32.45. Branca and Thompson are never given much screen time, and Jackie Gleason and Frank Sinatra only put in cameos, but other historical figures become important parts of the story. J. Edgar Hoover muses on death. Loyalty and Lever masks while comedian Lenny Bruce faces the Cuban Missile Crisis by impersonating a hysterical housewife shrieking, We're all gonna die. Early in the novel it is revealed that Nick Shea was in a juvenile detention center for murdering a man, but it is not until near the end of the book that we learn the details of his crime. After being released from the detention center, he is sent to a Jesuit reform school in northern Minnesota. In the epilogue, we learn that Nick and Marion remain married despite infidelity on both sides. In fact, Nick indicates their relationship is much improved as he has opened up to her about his past a Euro a subject that had always much interested her a and that he had been unwilling to discuss. Characters, Nick Shea a Euro the Noval a Euro unregistered trademark s protagonist and a waste management executive. He spends much of his life trying to come to terms with his Fidera Euro unregistered trademark s disappearance. Marion Shea a Euro Nick a Euro unregistered trademark s wife. Rosemary a Euro Nick a Euro unregistered trademark s mother. Jimmy a Euro Nick a Euro unregistered trademark s father who disappeared when Nick was 11. He and his family lived near Arthur Avenue, Bronx. Jimmy was a small-time bookie who had a reputation for never writing anything down. He went out for a pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes and never returned. Matty a Euro Nick a Euro unregistered trademark s little brother. Very skilled at chess in his youth, but then gave it up. He served in the military in Vietnam and then worked for the U.S. government in the development of nuclear weapons. However, he soon finds he is uncomfortable with his choice of career and leaves to join a think tank. Clara Sachs a Euro an aspiring artist who has a brief affair with Nick when he is 17 years old and she is in her 30s and married to Albert Bronsny with a young daughter. 
she and Albert divorced some time later. In all, she married three times, but divorced all three men. Nick goes to see Clara in the early 1990s when she a Euro unregistered trademark s directing a project to paint decommissioned Cold War era bombers. Albert Bronson a Euro Clara a Euro unregistered trademark s ex-husband and Matty a Euro unregistered trademark s former chess instructor. George the waiter, a middle-aged heroin addict, a childhood friend of Nick's. Marvin Lundy a Euro an avid baseball memorabilia collector who devoted his life to obtaining the home run ball hit by Thompson. He was obsessed with tracing the ball all the way back to the game, but was unable to do so. He sells the ball to Nick Shea. Cotton Martin, a young boy who finds the oft-mentioned baseball in the prologue. Manx Martin, Cotton's alcoholic father, who sells the baseball for $32.45 to a baseball fan. Ismail Mura plus or minus Os Moonman 157, a mysterious graffiti artist by whom Clara Sachs is intrigued. He appears intermittently throughout the novel as an older and semi-retired graffiti artist who paints angels around the city with a crew of younger children in order to commemorate children who have been murdered. He and his crew sell junked cars that have been abandoned around an area of the Bronx known as the Wall, and help Sister Edgar feed the poor. Sister Edgar an elderly nun. Matty Shea's elementary school teacher. Lenny Bruce, a comedian. J. Edgar Hoover, the director of the FBI. Literary significance and reception, Underworld received high acclaim from literary critics, particularly for DeLillo's prose and ambition. David Wiegand of the San Francisco Chronicle declaring it DeLillo's a euro oebis novel and perhaps that most elusive of creatures, a great American novel. Many have described the book as emotionally powerful. Other critics, however, praised DeLillo's prose but found the novel overlong and argued it could have benefited from more editing. On Salon.com, Laura Miller wrote that a Euro OE Nick's secret, the one that supposedly provides the book's suspense, proves anticlimactic. In May 2006, the New York Times book review named Underworld as a runner up for the best work of American fiction of the previous 25 years. The well-known literary critic Harold Bloom, although also expressing reservations about the book's length, has said Underworld is the culmination of what DeLillo can do, and one of the few contemporary American works of fiction that touched what I would call the sublime, along with works by Cormac McCarthy, Philip Roth, and Thomas Bunken. Allusions and References Equals Allusions to Other Works Equals the novel has J. Edgar Hoover utterly intrigued by The Triumph of Death, a painting by Peter Bruegel the Elder. Hoover first sees the painting while at the baseball game. The painting was reproduced in life and pieces of it fall on him when someone in the stands above tears up the magazine and tosses the pieces. Later in the book he obtains a print of the painting. Several segments of the novel are named in homage to other works. Das Kapital is Karl Marx's magnum opus. Long Tall Sally is a song by Little Richard also famous as a cover by the Beatles, and Cocksucker Blues is an infamous unreleased Rolling Stones song and film. Better Things for Better Living Through Chemistry was an advertising slogan for DuPont, while The Cloud of Unknowing is an anonymous work of Christian mysticism written in Middle English in the latter half of the 14th century. Equals allusions to actual history, geography and current science equals the novel incorporates a number of historical events. The prologue is about the shot heard round the world, and the whereabouts of the ball hit by Thompson are a recurrent element of the book. The book also employs Lenny Bruce a Euro unregistered trademark s reaction to the Cuban Missile Crisis and Soviet Union's atomic weapons program. DeLillo has said that the front page of the New York Times on October 4, 1951, inspired Underworld. Awards and nominations, in 1997, Underworld was a finalist for the National Book Award. Underworld was a nominated finalist for the 1998 Pulitzer Prize. Underworld was the winner of the 2000 William Dean Howells Medal. Film-slash-TV adaptation, the novel was at one point optioned by producer Scott Rudin for a film adaptation before it lapsed. In 2002 Robert Greenwald held the rights and was in discussions for turning it into a television miniseries. References, In Search of the Best, New York Times, Bing, Jonathan. 
The Ascendants of Don DeLillo, Publishers Weekly, August 11, 1997. Reticent Novelist Talks Baseball, Not Books by David Firestone, The New York Times, September 10, 1998. Retrieved June 1, 2010. On page 234, an old, infirm character easily walks from Jimmy's neighborhood to Arthur Avenue. Wiegand, David. We Are What We Waste, San Francisco Chronicle, September 21, 1997, A.B. Marshall, Gary. Don DeLillo, Underworld, Spike Magazine, December 1998, Amos, Martin. Survivors of the Cold War, The New York Times, October 5, 1997, Miller, Laura. One Nation, Undercover, Salon.com, September 26, 1997. What is the best work of American fiction of the last 25 years? The New York Times, May 21, 2006. 1. Harold Bloom on Blood Meridian, HTTP, www.bostoncomglobarot200324, The Cloud of Unknowing, Interview with Don DeLillo by Terry Gross of Fresh Air, October 12, 1997. The front page of the New York Times on October 4, 1951, National Book Award winners and finalists, 1998 Pulitzer Prize winner and finalists, Jonathan Bing. Household Diver Euro Unregistered Trademark STV Biosimmering. Variety. Retrieved October 14, 2014. External links. Underworld by Don DeLillo by Ted Gyre, Underworld by Don DeLillo by Ted Burke.